ஜப்பான We are at Gracie's favorite dog park. I don't think I've ever taken you guys with me here, but she loves it. I love this dog park because we used to have to drive all the way to Tampa. A dog just jumped and whacked me in the mouth. Kind of hurt. And um, we used to drive all the way to Tampa to like let Gracie go swimming. So there she is. So we found this one and it's great. She loves this. It's the biggest dog park I have ever been to. This is Lake Baldwin. It's kind of like 40 minutes away from celebration area, so it's kind of a drive. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I wanna be a man, man cop, and stroll right into town. And be just like the other men. I'm tired of walking around. Oh, oh my God. I'm so, I came in with you, and you, the first second you just gave me so. From the dog beach to the grand and miraculous spaceship. Look at that. Goofy and I almost said Mickey. Pluto out here. I mean, we can't see them. We're so far away. People are crying. People are laughing. Mostly crying. It's a nice night for a walk. Mind if I join you? Uh, does anybody know what that is? No? Well, it is a nice night here. It is beautiful. It's not hot. I'm not sweating. I sweated early at the dog park, so I already look like crap, but it's a nice, nice for a nice, nice night for a walk. I stopped off into Mouse Gears. $109. Would I wear it? No, because I don't like the sleeves. But this is like the Cruella stuff. Not sure who this is. This feels like you. Not sure who this is. Hmm. They have this like romantic um, Cruella dress for your romantic nights with your lovey. A um, bag. I would wear this in a heartbeat. I love this. A pair of fishnets underneath, some kind of like black flats or boots or something, a white button up shirt. Yep, I would wear this. This is only $50. Yeah, I totally would wear this. Well, that's just far fetched. There's paper in it. Um, this is new and it's adorable. I wish it had sleeves. I could wear it under a jacket. I really like this. And it's only $26. I kind of really want that Cruella skirt. The first stop on our Grand Fiesta tour was going to be the Grand Fiesta tour. I did step in line just in case, but I'm thinking maybe it might be better if we come back later. We are in La Cava de Tequila and we are here to try the Ella Habribe. A huge thank you to one of you for letting me try this experience. I'm excited. You said that you know I love bubbles. Gotta try it. 
It's kind of funny because I don't drink tequila at all for any reason. This is a mural of how tequila is made. All the way from chucking those things to the mule, mulein, to the, I don't know. I don't like tequila at all, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, you gotta wish for Prince Charming, okay? Oh yeah, okay, I'll do that. Okay. If it pops, you get it at home. <laughs> Let's try not to pop it. Oh, uh, it didn't pop. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> then you get to feed him. <laughs> Anything. You can try it, you can try it. It's like puppets. Okay. There is no Prince Charming out there for me. At home, I said. At home? Yes. He's going to clean the dishes and everything. <laughs> I don't want him. <laughs> Sorry, there's no return. There you go, my friend. Can you turn it again? This is tequila. This is intense. But I get a glow cube. You want Thank you so much to the kind friend that has got this drink for me. It was 30 $35 for this drink and it is just straight up liquor. It's not even on the menu. It's literally called like the TikTok drink they say. El Cambridge Habrije. It's strong. I probably will never be able to finish the whole thing ever. So inside of here is all alabrijes. So like Dante from Coco, he is one. So that's what the drink's named after. Like your spirit animal. It was really hard to drink. I didn't even drink half of it. It was, it's just so strong. And I remember one time I did like Cinco de Mayo with my brother and my friend Jenny. And it was a not a good, it did not end well for me. It was like tequila shots for a dollar. I don't do tequila. I still don't do tequila. I will never do tequila. A restaurant in Walt Disney World that I want to eat at so bad. I feel so safe in this little box. Or super unsafe, but I mostly feel safe. The wait to get on the boat was the longest wait of the day. Definitely. I'm sure you could I'm sure you know why we're riding this ride. That smell. It's definitely not the bromine smell that I'm talking about. I don't know what this smell is actually. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Do you guys see the hidden poodle face? Nose. Top lip, bottom lip. Oh, we're kind of past it, but it's there. And the one and only main reason that we got on the Grand Fiesta Tour, just to say hi to Donald Shake and his little maracas. As you can tell, so many chachas kept getting up here to get off the ride when it was not time to get off the ride. So they had finally decided. Please stay seated. It didn't help anyway. People get out anyway. You come out of there and the world is just so bright and fresh and new. And you regret every second that you spent not being out here. And in honor of Pride Month, there is a frangipan in here. And I know one of you asked me to show you all the pride desserts. I cannot do that, but I can show you this and try it and tell you how great it is. The pride cake is completely sold out. So I'm sure it was great. Hold on a second. As we are exploring Italy, what have they done to my dance floor? They have filled it up with a garden of gardenias. How am I gonna get up there now? I just got the... Apparently this is something cultural and I am making a fool of myself by saying I'm going to climb the flower mountain. 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 The sun is setting. It's not like a super beautiful sunset, but you know what? It's a Disney sunset. So we can take a second and just kind of appreciate it for what it is. I have only had Fushi one time this year. It was on my birthday weekend. I cannot let that be how my year halfway through is. Is that a thing? I cannot let my half year... Okay, bye. Oh boy. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. 
the best snack here at Flower and Garden Festival is Frushi. I wanted chopsticks and I got them. Burn. Obviously, I already ate one. But this is what Frushi is. It's pretty much heaven on a chopstick. If you ever want to know what it's like to eat heaven, come to Japan. They have flower and garden. You won't regret it. Amazing. Right now, you cannot get into my favorite pavilion. They have it closed down. You are not welcome into Morocco. They are setting up for a private event. It's probably a fireworks show. Or those off special fireworks things. I meant the fireworks dessert parties. That's what it is. This fireworks dessert party is really special because there's no fireworks. So it's pretty much just like a dessert party and you get to look at the barge. It's really fun. $59 a person. I could not get a reservation to get pizza. And you know, I mean, I just wanted to do something I've never done. So I got a walk up reservation for Rosen Crown and I just got the text my table for us is ready. This is the table that we got. It's um, it's not bad. I wanted to sit outside, so I opted for like an outside table. It's so nice out tonight. I'm excited because I've never even, I, I think I've gotten a drink here before, but. Okay. So sweet. She knew we wanted to sit by the water, so we got a water view. I am thrilled. I kind of want to sit over here on this side. I am really excited. I have never ate here before. I think I've only come into the bar and I have a story about that, but I won't tell it right now. It's a pretty funny story. I got thrown up on. It was interesting. There he goes. He knows we don't have food yet, so he's out of here. When the fireworks come back, this view is going to be the prime, prime rib of Epcot views. I look rough, but no one cares. Anyway, I ordered a burger. I ordered the Welsh burger to eat, and um, it's a burger with beer cheese and some kind of like ketchup mayo thing, which when she told me what it was, that's right up my alley. I cannot wait. But to me right now, the best part of eating at Rosen Crown is this view. You cannot... When, I mean, if I mean when Illuminations comes back. Okay, the burger came out. This is it. Let me try to take its top off. It's hard to show you guys what I have here because it's so dark. I don't know what these little things are. I'm not too sure. These are fried leeks. Apparently, they're like um, onions. So we're gonna try them. All right. This is our one bite. Everybody knows the rules. What's on this? Lettuce. Get out of here, Leaf. Everybody knows the rules. Two bites. Everybody knows the new rules. This is good. We got a winner. Call the press. Veronica likes something. The trifle came out, which is not focusing on it. Hold on, let me try to get this to focus. And so our trifle came out and it's whipped cream, strawberries, pudding. It, it's good, it's good stuff. We're gonna try it. I'm crying. <laughs> I was doing this entire review. I wasn't filming the entire time. Let me start over. This is strawberries, whipped cream, vanilla pudding, and graham crackers. I already ate a lot of it, so. 
You know, there's nothing good than some uh, a couple of trife. That's all I can say. Trife is where it's at. Oh, okay. Um, nope, can't go out this way. So, my take on Rose and Crown as a picky eater. I love the view. I love the dessert. The burger was okay. The fries were good. But the ranch dressing was salad dressing. To me, that was the only part I did not like. Otherwise, I mean, come on. You're sitting at the water. This looks like a nice place. Yeah, look at the party lights. The night is coming to an end. It's 8.30. We have only 30 minutes to get to all the rides. I want to do Figment, Soren, Seas with Nemo. I want to do Spaceship Earth. I want to do Test Track. I want to do all of them in 30 minutes. All right. I was trying to make sure that I got to sing to you guys before I got on the ride. But I don't know if it's going to happen. One little spark of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. Imagination really comes around. What's my side up? Is up. Figment is a five minute wait. You know where we're going right now. I always call that thing on Rise of the Resistance Flubber. And there is the real Weebo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We are the only ones in line. The smells in here remind me of vintage Epcot. It makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We and are the only oh, ones yes. uh, on Figment right now. Please don't let your imaginations run wild. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. We're just one sound. Your, your mind has wings. Continuing now, if I may. your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight that meets the eye. Really? Oh, I smell it. I haven't smelled it in a while. I made my house an innovation. Imagination really comes around. What's my sight? Upside down. And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. We have 10 minutes to get to Soren. Can we do it? I don't know. Mother knows best. We are at seven minutes left. Can we do it? If we can't, we are very pathetic. We made it. There is only one minute to show time. We are just in time for Awesome Planet. I am so disappointed. What I thought was one minute to show time is zero minutes, so they said we cannot ride Awesome Planet. We made it, six minutes to spare. I am having a hard time believing that we are at a 35 minute wait because we are still walking. Soaring over California. Wait, watch, magic trick. Soaring over California, always gonna be the soaring for me. So we only actually waited 10 minutes. That's not that bad. And thank you, Soren, for never getting rid of Patrick. I love you, Patrick. You mean the world to me. You're my best friend. You're so funny. This joke is my favorite. Purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Haha, you're so funny.
we just got off Soren. It is 10.30. So it was kind of like we waited, I don't know, like 25 minutes for a five minute ride. It was great. Got the best row, got the best row in the house. There is no one in here anymore. We are the last ones in here. Even the Lambos, they're already sleeping. They're just sleeping for the night. But can we just take five seconds to talk about how awesome the Lamp Pavilion is with nobody but us in it? And like two people, but okay. Pretty much just us. I'm singing in the land, just singing in the land, in the land. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy. Sometimes. And in the Siemens Lounge, the lights are lit up. That's fancy, what could that be? A fancy party for the fancy people. I am totally mesmerized right now. I don't know why my mind is in a million places, but I'm thinking about how like from right here where you go up, the mammoth scene, like how big it, like you guys, it's something, I mean, huge. What is this? I'm thinking too deep right now. We don't need these deep thoughts. Not tonight. There you can see little tiny bulbs. They are the lights for the 50th for Walt Disney World. Not exactly for Epcot, but there they are. How beautiful. I sure hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. I love Gracie and I love Disney. Bye, flawless. Goodbye, gorgeous. If you ever go, how do I ever, ever survive? How do I, oh, how do I leave? 